Coming in for an oil change. Let's go, cool, man. What do you think? You got one? I freaking love this thing. Uh, happy fall. I think it's officially fall now. You might be seeing this when it's winter. I have so many videos backed up. So I'm like layered. Thermals, two extra jackets in my back, my uh, backpack. It's like hard to enjoy the, uh, as fun as e-bikes are, as awesome as they are. You're driving around freezing. Definitely kills the kills the vibe a little. All right, a couple quick things here. <clears throat> One, I've a, a few times in the comments, I've had people mention that they wanted to see my uh, my LCD screen better. A couple things there. I didn't realize one of my videos I put out, or I'm editing, it didn't come out yet, but I'm editing it. I didn't realize it, but my backlight was off, and I don't know how long that was off for. So that probably made things a lot harder to see. And I used to have it tilted more. Uh, it was kind of more flat, just because I could see it from my angle. But I don't think it was useful to other people to see. So I moved it, turned my backlight all, all the way on. I noticed there's a spot right here, if you could see. Kind of like, so I'll do a little LCD experiment, see how that goes. See, I'm already feeling like I need another jacket. All right, today's missions. A buddy of mine I grew up with, who's also now my uh, car mechanic. I think I might've mentioned it. Ian Speed Shop in the past. Um, he's like super into wanting to buy an e-bike. And he's looking around and he's been checking out this one. So just to make his decision a little easier on deciding, at least he gets to test drive one. I'm going to head down to his work and then uh, yeah, we're going to head down to his job, let him test out the bike, give him some more uh, time to, uh, or a little more information on what he might want. Crazy intersection. Thank you. 
I don't know if I mentioned it also, but I bought another uh, bought another GoPro battery. So I now have three. Yeah, so I've been taking extra time to do those uh, wide shots, static shots. I'm not sure what you want to call them, but um, the GoPro batteries don't last long and using that extra time for those shots, I felt like my rides were getting cut short on the the POV GoPro footage. So now three batteries, I could pretty much back to where I was in the beginning, that extra time I'm using. So I've actually, <clears throat> with my old tires going up the hill like that angle, I've slipped out before. Not these nice new ones. So glad I have like multiple extra jackets.
Yo. Coming in for an oil change. What? You need your hub? <laughs> it probably needs a hub lubing. I don't want to open anything up until it's out of warranty though. Yeah. Two a year? Yeah, it's a year. You've been watching the vids a little bit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you got the tires. Yeah, I did. My other ones wore out. These are so much better. What are they? They're a uh, mix. Yeah, they're called a um it's called a speedster, but they're t they're like a quiet. Yes, dear. And I'm just standing here looking at my Christmas present. Next year we'll just <laughs> Yeah, lock them in the container and take it, she says. <laughs> wow. Wow. She knows what came here. So the hardest part, so my first tires were like, you saw they're like street tires yeah. basically. Yeah. And then any other tire out there was like an off-roady tire. Yeah. It was real hard to find something in the middle. Yeah. Cause the off-road tires are loud as hell. Not, cr but just compared to what I'm used to. So these, these basically make no extra noise, but they the grip is like 10 times better. Do they, do the off-road tires that are loud spam? Uh, do they um, take battery as well? Because of the, the different, Feel minimal like, though okay so Min like there is some really a off huge difference there's a there's a couple models that i'm sure definitely do right. there's these tires people use called shinkos 244s yeah. and it's like a motorcycle tire and they're really aggressive which i don't need anything that aggressive and see, when you get even when you get into like the cars and trucks you get into an aggressive knobby tire yeah it drops your fuel model the rolling resistance right you have a heavier rolling resistance for sure yeah with it going like, you're going like this the entire time. Yeah. The suspension has to move and go up and down every time. I don't notice anything different with these yeah, though. Yeah, they, they probably don't give you anything different at all. These are great. They're great. Oh yeah. Got a little little movement on the on the side nubs there to give you a little bit more traction in the dirt. I did have to do a little uh a little rebound adjusting because they're a little bouncier than my other tires. My other tires had a, a smaller sidewall. Yeah. But other than that, like it was for the extra grip I get. Yeah. I I love having this particular oh, yeah. tire on there. Like the trail and stuff like that. I saw that video. Yeah, the grass. Oh yeah. I was just talking about like I've I've gone up that hill a time or two and I slipped out, but I can I can get up there with a decent decent angle now. I'm not riding too much off road, but yeah. Even in wet, you could just hear them. They want a grip. Yeah. You know the other tires were great for me. A lot of people hated them, but maybe because I'm used to riding a regular bike, I knew their limits to an extent just because of, of knowledge on a bike, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Got some pegs. Oh, yeah. They're 39 bucks. I don't really ever use them. The weight limit's 275 and I'm 170 ish, so it's got to be a small person I'm bringing around. You want to go for a ride? You got time? Oh, of course. I'm not gonna, I've been eyeing these things up like now, this. Uh, just, I always recommend when you're getting on it, if you're unfamiliar yeah. with it, if you hit the brakes, yeah. it, it shuts it. Yeah, it shuts the motor down. Now. It's on the race mode. I'm going to leave it in there for you. I think it'd be fine. I love it. The plate is great. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I can actually. Yeah, it's, it's perfect height for you. Yeah. If you're, if you're above, if you're six foot and above, it's like ideal. If you're anything below five, nine, yeah. Like five nine is like minimum for that bike. Hundred. Now gear wise, I have to remember how to work. So it's just like a regular bike. Okay. So you just kind of like put it in whatever gear you feel like resistance in yeah. the, in your pedal. If you want less, or you know, if you're going faster, you got to put it up higher. If you're going lower, you put. Yep. But I, it's in six now. I'm sure that'll be. You could switch it. Whatever you want to do. And pedaling makes it go too. So keep in mind. All right, I got him in race mode out there. It's quite a car. I don't know what that is. When you're doing this? It like wants to go that way, right? It wants to grip. More like, um, oh god, I don't know. You could feel the grip instead of it wanting to be kind of unsure. Yeah. You're getting on like that little bit of gravel and stuff like that. 
you're not so unsure about it. Cool, man. What do you think? You got one? I freaking love this thing. In my one room, it won't fit with the handlebar mirror, and I don't feel like taking it out every single time. Yeah. So I just kind of don't have mirrors, but. Joel in there. He has, he's a yeah. He goes, we'll have to get one. He started looking at them. Uh-oh. And then he's like, well, wait a minute. I have my, I have my old, he's got like a 125cc scooter. I remember I parked my moped on a sidewalk once. I got a warning ticket. Really? Yeah. yeah. A motor vehicle, you know? Yeah. You get to test it out, man. I, I, I didn't test any of them out when it's I bought amazing it. amazing that that is all contained in there. That's freaking crazy. This was like the best of both worlds. It had the blinkers, the nice yep. headlight. Mm -hmm. Um, the dual battery, I mean, I never worry about battery. Any, anytime somebody gets one of these bikes, they're always like, how do I get more battery? And where am I gonna put it and this and that? This is just, it's just there. It's just all there, ready to go. Did I ever show you how these pop out? So these are a little- rack for the car. <sighs> feel how heavy that is. Jeez, okay, yeah, there's the weight. I think so these are 13 pounds or 14 pounds. Okay. So if you took both them off to put it on a bike rack, which I probably would do. It's in the 90s still though. Yeah. You might need a heavier weight bike rack. Yeah. Possibly. But they sell them. Well, I mean, I have a class five hitch. Before, because I'm I'm priced one out for a mini right now for two minis. So okay. My customers, they have um oh god, what does he have? I forget to get a uh, Quate. A rad mini? A Quate, right? No. Oh. Um, the rack is called Quate. Oh, oh, you mean the rack? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. And they're going to be sad to hear that they can't put both their bikes on it. Oh, this no. Is, this they... is one in my cart. <clears throat> I have it in the cart already. What color? Red, black? Oh, that rushed. I well, thought about the black. I'm thinking about the black because then I could do some, some other stuff on it. What's up everybody, Mary, uh, wait, not Mary, Happy Thanksgiving, I think it's the 25th, November, I'm out for a early morning Thanksgiving ride, I'm off from work, which is great, I don't even know if this is going to end up being a ride, because it is, 36 degrees maybe 35 so this footage may never see the light of day i'm not sure how long i'm going to be riding but it feels really awesome to cruise maybe the cold part is a little tough but the cruise itself is fun let's so see how long i can last out here Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing like camera angles and stuff today. Today just might be like a nice little speed run. Wow, it is brisk out here. To say the least.
it's just my hands that are cold. Well, no, not just my hands. Yeah, this is it. This is max cold. 